Wait, so should I tell them that the headband wig trend isn't going anywhere and that they should just get a little bit comfortable, settle on in? Girl, headband wigs, the half wigs, they're not going anywhere. The trend is just warming up. It's so much easier, especially for beginners. You don't have to worry about gluing or spraying down your lace front wig or losing it. I see a lot of y'all on them roller coasters and you done lost your wig, okay? So we have another alternative and this is my second review for Asteria Hair and I think they're after my heart. If I could be honest with you, if you didn't see my first review for them, it was the Burgundy Curly Lace Frontal Wig. Now, about that unit. I shared some photos and videos on Instagram and it's been like reposted all over the place. So if you found my channel, you found my Instagram with that style, definitely let me know. Hopefully you stumbled on in and you've subscribed because girl, come on, you, you just gotta do it at this point. So definitely let me know when you subscribe and I can give you a nice warm welcome and chit chat with the family members. We're real cool here. We like to slay. I'm Kay. I show you all things that slay all day. So if you're into that, you know what, stick around and turn your post notifications on. But this is a cute unit. I'm going to show you guys a few styles. I'm all about inspiration. So even if you are into the trend, sis, you can get some style inspo. So without further ado, we're going to get right into the video. The headband wig comes in the satin pouch, which is great for storage, and the unit is 14 inches, and get this, 200% density, and this cap construction is unmatched. It comes with five combs in total, and it fits my 23 and a half inch head circumference beautifully. I mean, girl, it stays, it lays, it's beautiful. Now the first thing you want to do is use a hydrating conditioner. This is the Miracle Curls conditioner and it has Australian jojoba oil and coconut. And so after I saturate the hair with water, I'm going to use a super generous amount on the hair and also detangle with a brush to make sure that it evenly coats the strands. When I tell you the curl pattern on this unit is everything, honey, if you don't see anything else or hear anything else, just know that these curls are lush. And you can expect a little bit of shedding. I got this much, so don't be alarmed. Now this is the unit about 80% dry after I co-washed it. And this is how that cap looks. I just wanted to show you guys, this is a big deal. Those three combs go on the front and there are two additional combs at the nape. And when you are putting on your unit, position it exactly how you like. Because these are the combs that actually snap in place, I wanted to kind of attach the comb to the wig cap versus my hair, which is a little bit safer, a lot less tension, so be careful. If you do use the combs, I advise a braided foundation if possible, but it's not necessary. And don't forget to snap the combs at the back as well, because this will add more security to your unit. Now, if you choose to wear your unit like this with the headband closer to the hairline, this is definitely definitely an option and you guys can see the curls look great with absolutely no product but you know me I'm like let's start switching things up I wanted to start playing with this unit so I went in with that same detangling brush that I used when I was co-washing the hair and I just wanted to maximize the volume this will kind of loosen up the curl pattern and again kind of separate those curls and just give you a more volumized look I like this. This is a great look, especially for fall. It's like bedhead ready. I love that. So what do you guys think? Are you feeling the volumized no product look? Next, I'm going in with the Aussie Miracle Curls Cream Pudding. Now this is more like a jelly type of consistency. And so when you apply it to the hair, you may want to use a little bit of water, just like mist the hair, just to help distribute the product. But I love how this product defines the curls. At first, the hair looks super kind of straight and straggly. But give it some time, those curls will definitely pop. If you're someone who doesn't like a lot of volume, this cream pudding is perfect for you. It's going to accentuate those curls and add sort of like that wet or hydrated look. And when it dries down, it looks gorgeous. And this is perfect for those of you who are on the go. You don't have too much time in the morning, but you still want to look put together.
so which do you prefer do you prefer the air dried with no product or do you like the air dried version with a bit of a cream pudding i mean the choice is yours i'm just showing you the options and Asteria hair offers headbands as well they have this leopard print now this particular headband was not that stretchy so again for those of you who like to go on the roller coaster rides and you want to make sure you're secure this is the perfect headband because it has like a minimal amount of stretch so it's going to stay put but I like this look, you know, once we do the cream pudding all over, we define those curls. This is a vibe right here. Now, if you prefer your headband with a little bit more of a relaxed fit, a bit more stretch, this red colored headband is cute. I love this color. I wish I was wearing a red lip because that would have taken it to the next level. But you can do a half up, half down. I really like that style with this shorter unit. I was a little nervous about the shorter length, but let me just tell you something. This is so much more wearable, more everyday work appropriate. And I mean, even though the half up, half down isn't giving like corporate tees, if you want to play up your look on the weekend, again, another great option. And so here I'm just continuing to play around. I actually don't like this style, but I know other people do like this look. So I just wanted to show you how you could do it too. For the next style, I was wearing my head wrap. And if you'd like to see how I tied it, you can check the description box for the link or also in the card section. But I was going in to do sort of like that fine apple, but a little bit different with a nice bun. I was just rushing this style, but you know, if the hair were more dry, it would have looked even more fabulous and it would have given, you know, more of the look that I'm accustomed to, but the hair was still a little bit damp, so the puff isn't as pronounced. Next, I'm moving over to like this side ponytail. I think with this texture, this length, this is perfect. It's not overdoing it. And it just looks really good, especially when you put it with a nice headband. Just keep it sleek. Make sure to use a brush so that, you know, it looks neat. And trust me, I'm not one for the animal print. That's not really my vibe, but you know what? I really kind of like it with these headband wigs. They kind of they kind of growing on me. Okay, so are we a fan of the side ponytail because it's working for me? Now we all know about the high ponytail. I did want to do something like a pineapple, but I wanted to do like that ponytail that sits pretty high on the head. And it just looks so girly, so chic. I really like that. And what would this tutorial be without a top bun or a high bun? This is super easy to do. The unit was still a little bit damp. So again, I didn't have the volume that I like, but you guys saw in the intro as this unit dries, the bun is even bigger. It looks so much more lush. Definitely love the look. Now you guys see how versatile this unit is. Check out Asteria hair and use the coupon code that I'll have in the description box and flashing on the screen. Definitely do not forget to use it, save your coins. Like I told you in the beginning, the headband wigs, the half wigs, they're not going anywhere. Embrace it and you might as well pick you up on something that's a little bit more affordable, okay? Be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, meet me in the comment section and I hope I see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.